larger, even, or odd numbers, lesson 3.12b. We can find if a larger number is even or odd by looking at the number in the ones place. We look at the number 28, we use the 8 in the ones place. If we can make pairs with none left over, 8 is even, so 28 is even. We just use the number in the ones place. We don't have to make 28 dots and then make pairs. We can just use the ones place. Look at the number 43. We use the 3. And we make pairs with the 3. We can see there's one left over, so 3 is odd, so 43 is odd. 97, we use the 7. We make pairs, and there's one left over. So 7 is odd, so 97 is odd. If the ones place is odd, then the 97 is odd. 82, we use the 2. We make a pair, there's none left over, so the 2 is even. That means 82 is even. If the number in the ones place is even, the entire number is even. If the number in the ones place is odd, the entire number is odd. We make pairs with the 6. There's none left over. 6 is even, so that means 16, 26, 36, 46, 56, 66, 76, 86, 96, it ends with a 6, and 6 is even, so these are all even. 5 is odd. We have 1 left over when we make pairs. So since 5 is odd, then all of these numbers are odd because they end with a 5, and 5 is odd. See? So no matter how big the number is, even if it's a million something, if it ends with a number that has none left over, then it's even, and if it ends with a number in the ones place that does have one left over after making pairs, then it's odd, okay? You could do that to any huge, gigantic number and tell if it's even or odd just by looking at the ones place, okay? You're going to come across these in your work coming up soon, so it's really important to be able to tell these apart, all right? I'll see you next video. Bye.